break it down Oh boy, I'm so down for you I am so nervous too. I'm nervous because I have not talked about this at all and I've wanted this for so long um, but I've had so many deters from it. I literally, I want plastic surgery, but Bay doesn't want me to get it. And this was even before I was with my um, husband, you know, um, I wanted to do this. So, I don't know, I have so many worries. I have so many, many concerns. One thing would be, okay, first thing is this. Um, I've always been small, small frame, I'm 5'4" and I weigh like 130, sometimes, you know, one, between 130 and 125, I have fluctuated my whole life. Um, and I've never had like, I'm a B, a 34B, but I'm not full at all, especially even having, you know, breastfed. I am just not, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't wanna say I hate them because I don't hate anything about my body, but I just don't like it. I've wanted surgery on like three things, um, but I've decided just, you know, to think to myself, well, just accept it, you know, that's what you were born with, you know, don't change it, um, how would you feel later on down, you know, when you're like 80 years old with these fake boobs, um, what if there's issues with the surgery, what if there's issues with the, the implants later on in, the, in life. Um, Will they look fake? Cause you know how some people's boobs are pushed up and they just look weird. Like they look like they got just golf balls inside of their boobs, or maybe bigger than that. Maybe grapefruit, grapefruit, and in their in their skin it just looks weird. So like there are people even on YouTube that I, they may not have even said anything about their breast implants, but you can tell because they just look really weird. And then they go get push up bras and these different things to show it and it just looks really weird. I'm just like, please, hide them. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I The more that I see people who have them, um, the more I'm like, I don't want to do it. And that's so crazy. It's like I've gotten older and I'm just like, am I too old to have breast implants? Obviously, I know people get them older than me, um, younger than me, but I just really wanted them for a long long period of time and um, I'm now at a point that I don't really see the purpose of getting them um, I've always wanted it to have obviously to have full boobs for like bathing suits and things of like that nature but now I'm at a point of time where I don't care to have them just because I feel like people gonna obviously be looking at it <laughs> and that's so duh they're gonna be looking at it but I just I don't want the attention to be just on my boobs and I know you can get them smaller to fit your frame and so forth so forth but I just get again I keep going back to like what if people see that they're fake like I don't want people to know they're fake unless I'm coming on here to talk to you guys about it but if I go out to a beach or I go to a pool I don't want people to be looking at my boobs and be like oh those are fake and I know I shouldn't care but I do okay <laughs> um so I just I don't know and I know that people have gotten them to look natural there are some people that I've, I've seen I'm like oh those those look natural I would have I wouldn't have known if you know she hadn't said anything but then there are so many people that get them done and like they're they don't look right and yeah they they've had them done for years they had them done you know for months and they still just didn't sit well like it just I don't know so I decided against it I don't I don't want it I don't want to take that chance on one I hate surgery um I hate pain I don't want to look like a fake boob person <laughs> Oh, uh -oh. and each his own. I'm definitely not, you know, speaking against anyone who has gotten it done. It's just me. I've decided for my personal reasons that I just don't 
want to do anymore. Even though, you know, I, I look at my boobs every day, I'm just like, they just, mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll go um, and get them lifted. Um, they're not as perky, like, perky up like they used to be. So, <laughs> I cannot believe I'm telling y'all this. But it is, it's the truth. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I didn't know my husband is so excited. He's probably going to see this video and be like, phew. <laughs> Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't want to do it anymore. I, I mean, I plan on having kids again, too, and I want to breastfeed. And not saying that you can't do it, because I heard that you could. I just don't want to take that chance on me, that I'd be the one to get this surgery, and the pain is extreme, I hate my boobs, um, and then I have issues breastfeeding, because I didn't have any issues breastfeeding. I was able to produce more than enough milk, um, the first day he was born um, I just don't want those issues and I, I feel like it's for me a gamble um, with me wanting to um, live my life a certain way <laughs> um, and then thinking later on the line like in my 70s or whatever and these heavy boobs because I mean everything drops when you get older and I don't want these perky like boobs or maybe they'll sag I don't know I just, I don't want to be the one. <laughs> I don't want to be the one. So, I'm against it. I don't want to do it for me. Um, again, everyone who's gotten them done, I feel like they're definitely brave. And I feel like, you know, each his own. Because I, I hate surgery. I just, I don't want to do it. So, this video is just to kind of tell you how I felt for years. Um, and that... You know, I am no longer going to do it as of literally, um, I want to say like a, a month because, you know, for a while I've been like having it in the back of my head that, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. No, I'm scared. I'm going to do it. No, I'm scared. So I decided at this point of time that um, I don't want to do it anymore. So I'm glad that I made that decision now instead of getting the surgery done and then wishing that I didn't. So I feel like if anyone is unsure about getting any type of major surgery or anything in life, whether it's a tattoo, tattoo surgery, piercing, whatever the case may be, if you're unsure, then I feel like, you know, um, don't do it. Don't do it until you're sure, 100% sure, because these are permanent things um, on the body. Even though one can get their boobs removed later on, it's still that surgery. Um, even though the, the tattoos can be removed, it's still the fact that your body in that area has been um, messed with. Or a piercing, even though it can close, it's just not the same. Like even closed piercings as I see on people, like even though it's closed, you can still see like the scar. Or you can, it just does. It's not the same. Um. So yeah, um, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it, and um, I'm okay with that decision. So um, I hope you ladies found this video um, informative because at the end of the day, you know, do whatever you choose to do because at the end of the day, it's your temple. Um, it's Lord's Temple first, obviously. <laughs> um, but just know that you know that you want to do something before you decide to do it. Um, instead of just, you know, jumping on bandwagons and not saying that I was or anyone else is. Um, but just making sure that you know that that's for you. Um, so that you don't have any regrets. We ain't trying to have no regrets, okay? Not in 2018 or ever. <laughs> But I love you guys. I hope you guys, like I said, enjoy this video. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Comment down below if you have any questions or concerns. And also, honeys, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you later. I will see you ladies later in another video. Why can't I get that out? <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>